Welcome to the FizzBuzz tutorial series presented by Burris Consulting Group. I'm your host, Jonathan Burris. In this series, we look at the infamous FizzBuzz programming interview test. Sometimes, even the best programmers are tripped up by the simplest of tasks. We spend much of our time solving complex problems, and we often slip up when it comes to basic tasks. Writing code isn't the only thing that makes a good software engineer. Speed, efficiency, readability, and many other factors go into a delivered product. This FizzBuzz test is often used by companies when proving a programmer's ability to do what they're saying they can do. In this episode, we're going to solve the FizzBuzz problem using plain old C. I'll be using Sublime Text for this demo, but you can use any IDE or text editor that you wish. Let's get started. We have our IDE open, Sublime Text in this case, and the first thing we want to do since, IDE, uh, since Sublime Text is a uh, text editor, let's go in and set the uh, syntax that we want, and we'll set it to C, and let's create our main function, so int main, and let's create some spacing there. And now we need to uh, add some room for our includes. And in this case, we're going to be including uh, STDIO header. And let's begin writing our for loop. So for uh, int i equals 1, uh, i is less than or equal to 100. And let's increment i. Let's create some spacing here. And now let's begin writing our if statements. So if i equals, I'm sorry, not i equals, but i modulus uh, 15 i equals 0. We'll leave some space there for uh, our uh, output. Uh, else if i uh, modulus uh, 3 equals 0. And then i e modulus 5 equals 0. And else, we'll just print the number. So now under uh, our first check uh, to see if it's a multiple of uh, 3 and 5, we're going to use printf. And we're going to create our uh, string. Our parameter is uh, percent %d uh, for an integer, uh, fizzbuzz. And let's put a new line there. And I, let's close. Let's copy this and let's paste this down. Let's change this to fizz. And one more time, change this to buzz. Then lastly, we're just going to print the number. Percent D, new line. All right, and close. All right, let's uh, run that. Oh, have to save it first. So let me choose my uh, folder for this project. Let's change this to uh, main and save that. And now we can run that. And since Sublime lets us do that, we can see our console window right here. And there uh, looks good. We see uh, 3 is fizz, 5 is buzz, and 15 being fizz buzz. And somehow that changed to C, but it's no big deal. All right, to C plus, let's change it back to C. All right, looks like it checks out well. Now let's do some cleanup here. Okay, so let's run this within a method. Uh, so we've created a method there, or a function, and it's uh, a void function. It has no return, and let's run it now in the main by calling that function, and everything works just like it did before. And now let's do some cleanup here. We have i 
modulus 15 equals zero. So we're doing our, uh, our check to see if it equals zero. When we can clean that up a little bit and use um, the XOR, uh, or sorry, use the OR bit operation, uh, and that would allow us to uh, just simply inverse that, and that'll give us a, and tell us whether or not it's true. So if uh, I modulus 15 is zero, that would technically be false, so we want to uh, switch that. So we switch it from a zero to a one with the exclamation point. And with that, we have successfully implemented the FizzBuzz uh, interview question problem with uh, the C programming language. Thanks for tuning in. For more tutorials, code snippets, and information about Burris Consulting Group and what we do, visit burris.co.